since we have a truck and a trailer, I'm sure you guys know what this means. So the good news is we're finally gonna go pick up the E30 today. It's been a very long time. I know it was supposed to be back a lot sooner. I said it was only gonna be gone for a few weeks, but honestly, it was kind of my fault. I was busy some of the days the owner was free or the shop was free, and then some days where I wasn't busy, they were a little bit busy, so it was just kind of coordination issues. But today, we're both free. I told them I'm gonna come pick it up. It is raining, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm, I'm ready to have that car back. <laughs> I am terrified of all the rest of the work that we need to do to it. But I think this is a great step towards getting this car done now that we have the rust finally addressed. It is raining today, so I got these straps and this blue tarp so that I can just cover the car and then strap the tarp down. Otherwise, it would just fly off on the highway. Hopefully that works. So we just got here to Topcoat and uh, this is my bill. Very, very hefty bill. We just settled that. But now I wanna show you guys around to some of the cars that they have around here. So one of the few that I picked up as soon as I drove in is that they have another E30 over here. And believe it or not, I used to own a white 300ZX, sold it to buy my Subaru, and it's honestly one of the cars that got away. But you got this E30 coupe here. Honestly, it looks like in pretty good condition. Got the sports seats in here. You guys can't see it, but another 300ZX. I really, I really, really miss this car. All good, can't keep them all. Look at this thing. I pulled in, as soon as I pulled in, I saw this sitting here, but this one kind of hurt my soul because, ah, uh, that's gotta suck. They said this thing was basically brand new too. It's not just the front. The entire axle is just destroyed. Might have to find out what other aftermarket parts are on here and potentially even buy them. But then you have this ACR Viper just destroyed as well. <laughs> that thing sounds like a piece of crap. Now this is just a reminder that if you are ever putting a car on a trailer alone in the rain, do not do it. I was <laughs> bringing the car up and right as I got to the edge of the ramps, the car kind of got stuck on the little bump and did not want to go up and I put a little bit more pressure, the wheel started spinning and at that point I almost fell off the ramps. I almost dropped my newly fixed E30 off the ramps. So I had to back up. I got one of the employees to help me out and we redid it again from the bottom. So now that we got the E30 loaded back up, we got my hands clean. I just want to reiterate that I love the people at the shop. As soon as I got there, they were kind of waiting for me so that they could get the car out of the shop. They told me, hey, it's gonna be a few minutes, so just hang tight. They didn't just leave me to stand outside or sit in the waiting room. No, they showed me around the car. They showed me the work done to the car. One of the other employees came. He started showing me around the shop, showing me around some of the other cars that they were working on. And then they pulled the car out, gave it to me, but didn't just leave me out. They made sure to help me get it on the trailer, make sure I was good to go. He was like, hey, I think the trailer's too steep. You might wanna move the truck and the trailer over here so we can get it on a little bit easier and so on. That is great customer service. That was one of the main reasons I even chose this shop, not because of the work that they do, but because they gave me the time. They didn't act like they were doing me a favor when they were taking this project on. They genuinely helped me and now they fixed the car and I will say it does look great. I haven't gotten to show you guys the repairs that they've done so far, but once we get home, I will show you guys. So that way you guys can see how the E30 looks now. But with that being said, huge shout out to Topco Garage. I love the customer service that you guys have. 
and I honestly can't wait to bring this car back to you guys so you guys can paint it. Feels good to have this thing back, I'm not gonna lie. It's been so long, so many ups and downs with this car. And I thought I was gonna sell it more than once, but it's back and uh, we're gonna continue this progress. Now we gotta return the trailer, give the truck back to my brother, and then from there, we'll probably start going over all the stuff on this car that got fixed and how it looks now. So it's the next day now, we got the E30 here and I wanted to go over everything that was replaced or fixed on this car and since uh, it's an exciting day we had to wear our E30 shirt here. Honestly I've never seen this rear valence as smooth as it has been because when I got the car there was rust there and they replaced this from here all the way to beyond that hook. Um, all of this is a new piece, they made it seamless and honestly it looks great now. On the passenger side of the car we did get an entire new floor pan so they did install the new one. They welded and made it flush as possible on this side they went all the way up to the edges of the door on this side um, and even up front you can see a little bit of the weld spot where the new floor pan is sitting but overall very good job and it's nice and sturdy you can barely tell there's a new floor pan in here and then from the bottom what they ended up doing was using the piece that goes from here all the way to here as a new piece and then they kept the actual stock jack point there and then just kind of welded around it just to make sure that everything was good because that jack point was actually okay and he kind of let me know ahead of time as you can see down here you can clearly see that everything is just flush you can't see any ridges where the welds are so they grinded everything down properly and uh, we're in really good standing so now that we have all the rust repaired and repaired properly, I can finally say we're back to square one. We were so far back with the repairs on this car that I didn't think we were ever gonna get back to it, but we're finally at that point where we can continue working on this car and getting it to the point where it should be at and uh, start on all the other projects or mini projects that I have for this car. Now I do want to say a huge shout out to Topco Garage because one, they not only did a great job, they were super friendly in dealing with me, they had great customer service and the owner Matt also did me a few favors even though this is my first time working with him. He was honestly looking out. The way he did that was by saving me in repairs that he didn't really have to do. So I kind of told him everything that I thought needed to get done, floor pans, front cap corners and so on. Uh, but as he was working, if he found something that didn't really need an entire replacement and he could just weld and fix um, some of the smaller things, he would reduce that from the overall bill in terms of hours of labor and then use that for some of the other places that needed uh, more time or fine tuning and so on. For that rear driver's side cubby, that was a place that we didn't really expect to find rust. And when he found it, what he ended up doing was reducing hours of labor on other areas, hence why he didn't install the new jack points because one, we didn't need to, and he just made sure that the side that was a little bit worse off, uh, he could just fix by welding it back up in place and then seam sealing around it and so on. So he would reduce hours here and there to make sure that we stayed within the estimated cost of this entire project and I wasn't going to come pick up the car and the bill was like two grand or three grand more than what was estimated and given to me. So in that aspect he really looked out and made sure that I wasn't paying a hefty hefty sum 
on this repair. Now, what are the next steps for this car? We installed the interior, installed new seat brackets because I hate the garagistic seat brackets, paint the inner fender skins, remove the drive shaft, lower the trans, install the new shifter assembly, start taking apart the rear suspension, drop the subframe. We need to reinforce and powder coat the subframe after that. Get the new coilovers, reinstall all the new suspension parts, which we have sitting in a box back there. Make sure all our brake lines are good to go because I think that's also going to be an issue later down the line. Drop the front subframe, engine, trans, all that, do all the maintenance, and then replace all the diff, bushings, and so on for the front as well. And that's just the simplified version of it. Yeah, there's a lot to do for this car, and I'm definitely going to need help. So we'll see if some of the homies got some time to help me out with a lot of this because uh, a lot of them have a little bit more experience than me. All very happy that we got this car back and we can finally start working on it again. Uh, we'll slowly start ordering all the parts, make sure all the hardware gets replaced and everything goes in the right spot. I'm hoping that I didn't lose any parts um, after it being sitting in the garage for so long. Like you got the, the bumper and all this kind of stuff just sitting here. So I'm hoping I didn't lose anything, but we'll slowly start putting this car back together and uh, get it back to life. So the schedule is pretty jam packed here, but we gotta get it done. I'm hoping to complete the E30 before this winter or even sometime during winter. And the G80, I think we're gonna move at a very fast pace with this one. We're gonna get this car dialed in uh, in a year's time. That's the goal. But for all of you who follow me for the E30, we got it back and we'll be working on this thing a lot more. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.